Hello everyone, in today's video I'll be talking about a module I came across recently. It is called Pretty Table and it's very useful for organizing your data. So here you can see that I have two lists. List 1 which contains the elements A, B and C and List 2 which contains elements 1, 2, 3. So if I want to organize it in a more reader-friendly manner, I can use the module Pretty Table. Similarly, if I want to import some data of a CSV file such as this one and represent it in a tabular format, I can again use the pretty table. So first off, I'll start by creating a table from these two lists. So let's get started. First off, you need to import the module pretty table. From pretty table, import pretty table. Make sure that uh, you pay extra attention to the capital P and capital T. So after you import the module what you need to do so over here we're, we're creating a table from the list I'm just uh, writing in a comment because in this video I'll be uh, creating a table from the list and a table from the CSV file so this one is the code to create a table from the list so I have two table uh, two lists here so what I want to do and one more thing remember that pretty table is not a built-in Python module so you need to use pip install let me write that as well. pip install pretty table. You need to uh, pass this command into your terminal to install the module into your computer. Okay, so once you've done that, so now as you can see that I have two lists here and I'll take these two lists and I'll create a table. So table is equal to pretty table and over here we need to pass in an array of headers. So there are two lists, so I'll pass in two headers. So one will be list one, and these these are the headers for your table. And the other one, I'll call it list two. So after that, what I'll do is I'll, I need to add some rows into my table to input my data. So to add the rows, I'll create a for loop, which will loop through these lists. So for x in the range 0 to 3. Now 0 to 3 because my lists have three elements. So I want the loop to pass three uh, I want the loop to loop three times. So the range is 0 to 3 and then table dot there is a function called add row. The add row will help me input elements of the list into the table. Now the add row also takes an array and since I've passed in two headers it expects the array to also contain two elements. So the first element is list1 x and then the second element will be list2 x. So what I'm doing here is I created a for loop so when x is 0 list1 bracket 0 will be a and list 2 bracket 0 will be 1. So the first row will contain the data a and 1. And then when the value of x is 1, then it's b and 2, and when it's x is equal to 2, then it's c and 3. So that's how we're going to loop through the lists and create a table with this information. So now all we need to do is print the table. It's very, very simple, but very useful. Let me run this. There you go. You see the header list1 and then list2 and then the information a and 1, b and 2, c and 3. Now it's much easier to read than these two lists. So this is a very useful um, module. I, uh, and this, that's not the only thing it can do. It can also take data from a CSV file and turn it into a table. Let's see how we can do that. So table from CSV. Let's see how we can do this. This is also very simple. All we need to do is we need to create uh, first we need to create a variable to store the file path of the file. So this is the path of my file testfile.csv and then all I need to do is CSV file is equal to I need to open the CSV file 
So inside the open function, I'll just pass in the variable file path, which contains the path of my file. Once the CSV file has been opened, I will just use the function from CSV and inside it I will pass in CSV file and one more thing you need to remember is we need to also import the function from CSV so from pretty table import from CSV so now what you do is you you have first opened the CSV file and then passed that into the function so let me run this and you should have two tables there you go as you can see this one is the first table from the lists and this one here is the table you got from the CSV file one thing you need to remember is that uh, the number of elements in this line, the first line and the second line have to be the same, otherwise it won't work, which is a bit of a restraint, but still it's quite useful because a CSV file is quite difficult to read, but this table is so much easier to read and it's also in a much uh, better format. So I think the pretty table is a very useful module and it has other functions as well. And um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please comment below and uh, um, thank you very much for watching.